Howdy song, good song. They're all good songs, good band. Uh, this is a Charlie song, so we are going to be in open D tuning. So get an open D tuning and put your capo on the third fret. Uh, if you want to play it how Charlie really plays it, uh, you're going to be in open E tuning and put your capo on the first fret. Uh, it makes no difference. This tutorial will be exactly the same because every fret number I say is going to be relative to the capo, wherever you put it. This tutorial, if you're looking at me, my guitar, open D, then put the capo on the third fret. Should sound something like that. Uh, all your fretting in this song is just your low E and your A, and they're, you know, going to be on the same fret. So if I say fourth fret, it's just four, four, low E and A. So this tutorial is going to be real easy. Uh, starts with a verse. Open, four, five, five. You see how easy this is going to be? Just do that four times. Downstrokes. And what that part is, is the beginning of the song, the verse. So, looking in the cathedral. So it's just like that. Saw you bent over your knees, praying to another dimension. I am unaware what beyond you. Cool. You've learned the verse. A little instrumental part in between. You have the same the same little progression as the verse once. Familiar. Second time we're gonna do like this: zero, four, five, two. Do that one more time, all the way through. So normal once. Four, five, back to two. through that kind of fast but hopefully you got it real easy uh in summation the verses are zero four five five you do that four times uh there are two verses in between the verse you play zero four five five zero four five two do all that twice Rewatch it if it's confusing you can do it i believe in you Okay, I feel like I explained that part poorly. I think it was right, but I explained it poorly. Here's how it works. There's two verses. The two verses are the same. In between those two verses, we're going to insert a little instrumental part. Verse 1. Same as verse 2, but verse 1. 0, 4, 5, 5. Four times in a row. That's the verse. Then, after the first verse, you have an instrumental. 0, 4, 5, 5. 0, 4, 5, 2. 0, 4, 5, 5. 0452. That's your instrumental. After the instrumental, you play a verse, just like verse 1. Just play it again. So verse, instrumental, verse. And then after that, here we go into the rest of the song. Hope that's clear. I feel like I explained it weird. Maybe not, but anyway. Uh, but then you have, you know, trust, I'll calm down. And then there's a high note that I'm not going to hit. It's going to be really funny, but that part is going to be also, one important thing, we've been very uh, down, sort of palm muty, down strokes. Uh, next part is going to be sort of more open strumming, so seven, it's same thing, just E and A. Five, nine, back to five, and then you do that one more time, seven. You know, 
that's trust I'll come down always to somehow <laughs> yeah open my That's that part, and then the rest of the song is going to be the same chord progression as itself, not as that. So it's going to be two, five, z open, seven, two, five, open, seven. Uh, but there's a couple different parts that use that chord progression, and you play them a little differently, although the chords are fingered the same. So then you have, you know. Brighter than before outside. Very, very just sing like the high and the O and the still very strummy. progression but you know so we're gonna be not exactly just downstrokes but sort of more like contained and I'll get into how you play that rhythm and sing it because it's so catchy and so good but uh, I hear some hammer-ons when he comes in on the second fret at the beginning of this sort of progression too so Maybe never come back here and stay with our friends. Maybe never come back here. Maybe we better hover. So the way you sort of get the feel for that is the reason it's so catchy, I think, is because whenever he accents the vocal accent, right after that is a guitar accent. So it's Maybe never come back. So right after back, you hit the guitar accent. So Maybe never come back here. And he does that the whole um for that whole part. And it's so it's sort of like off kilter. And it's just ah, it's good. Except for when you go May we better hover. Right on ver and hover, that's what it, it goes back to like sort of centers itself again. So that probably sounds like psycho babble, but I will play it and hopefully what I just said will make sense. So it's Maybe never come back here and stay with our friends. Maybe never come back here. Maybe we better have fun. Maybe never come back here. And stay I can play the right chords though. so good howdy is so good what a tangent um, but the way it ends just and then you just you stay on the seventh baby we better hover song ends just like that and now you know how to play cathedral by howdy but if you still don't let me know why and i'll help you Take care.